Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I really don't think you can have too many pumpkins when it comes to the fall season. I actually have a big tote box full of pumpkins and I will count and see how many pumpkins I have, but I'd love to hear down in the comments below, how many pumpkins do you think you have in your fall stash? Well today I'm sharing with you five new pumpkin DIYs and we're going to be using only Dollar Tree supplies to create them all. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I'm excited about these projects. This very first one, we're gonna turn a Dollar Tree glass container into a rustic style pumpkin. I have Rust-Oleum spray paint to start with. This is in the color Real Orange. I just took it outside, gave it two coats of the spray paint, made sure to even flip that bottom part upside down so that way I could get full coverage on the entire thing. So it's already starting to look like a pumpkin, except I wanted to give the handle more of a pumpkin stem look. So I have some brown chalk paint. I used a paintbrush to cover the whole handle part. Just one coat was enough to cover it. To dress it up a little bit, I'm using Dollar Tree Raffia and I just tied a bow around the handle. And then I didn't like how bright orange it was, so I took that brown chalk paint around the sides of the pumpkin to give it more of a rustic look. If you love pumpkin everything, give this video a thumbs up. I love pumpkin spice, I love pumpkin pie, and I love decorating with all kinds of different pumpkins in all different colors. Now let's work on some pumpkin string art. I'm using a Dollar Tree really cute autumn blessing sign. I really like that it had the shiplap background, but I wanted to give it more of a farmhouse look. So the first thing I did was take off the raffia bow and give it a good scrubbing with some sandpaper to get the glue and all of the glitter off of the front. And instead of an orange pumpkin, I didn't have any orange string, so I decided to paint my pumpkin with some gray chalk paint and go for more of a neutral look. Here's my pumpkin after two coats of paint have dried, and I'm gonna be using a 17 gauge, one inch size wire nails for this. You can find these at Walmart. And I'm just tapping them all the way around the outer edge of the pumpkin. You wanna make sure you don't hammer in down too far because this is not wood, it's chipboard. So it's really easy to go down too far and then your nail will slip through. Here I'm using yarn from Dollar Tree and you just wanna make sure to tie a knot onto your first nail and then wind your string or your yarn all throughout your pumpkin. And then what you wanna do is go back and go all the way around the outside of your pumpkin. That will make your pumpkin have like more of a defined edge. This is a little bit of a sneak peek of my coffee bar, which I will have a tour on very, very soon. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And hit the bell as well so you get notified when my new videos do go up and go live. I absolutely love how this gorgeous pumpkin turned out. I used copper chargers from the Dollar Tree and I hopefully can find more the next time I go back because these are so pretty. And I'm also using a decal, which I will have available in my Etsy shop. I will link that down in the description box. It is called The Creative Cottage and you can find me. Um, the shop name is DIYer Creative Cottage. And all I'm doing is peeling my decal away from the paper backing and adding it to the middle of my charger. I'm using a squeegee to press it all down and then removing that paper off the front, the transfer tape, and you get this beautiful, beautiful finished product. And now we're gonna start working on creating the stem at the top. I have some leftover leather and I'm gonna be using two different kinds of burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I cut my leather into sort of a 
stem shape or something that resembled a stem. And then I'm using the burlap to the burlap wired ribbon to make a small bow that is going to cover up the bottom of my stem. And then I'm also using the non-wired burlap ribbon to make some leaves. I just tucked those underneath the bow, kind of like they were coming out of the sides. I love, love, love copper for the fall. So like I said, I'm really hoping my Dollar Tree has more of these the next time I go back so I can grab a few more for some fall place settings. This cute pumpkin wreath was very, very simple to make as well. I'm using a wreath form from Dollar Tree. And again, I took this outside and spray painted it with that orange spray paint. I made sure to flip it over and got the insides because there's lots of little spaces where the natural color was showing through. So do a few coats, make sure you get really good coverage. Now again, this orange color was just far too bright for me. So again, I came in with my brown chalk paint, just went in and brushed it up a little bit. That way it kind of toned it down and also gave it more of a rustic look. And for the stem, I am using Dollar Tree's burlap ribbon again. I just spiraled it down so I could kind of make a cone shape or a stem shape. I used my hot glue to make sure it stayed in place and also attached it to the top of the wreath. And here I am using some Buffalo Check wire ribbon to make a bow. I do have a full tutorial on how to create four different bows and I will link that at the end of this video so make sure to stay tuned for that. I just tied my bow underneath the stem and used a little hot glue too to make sure it stayed in place and hung this on the front door. I feel like this would be super cute if you layered it on even a boxwood wreath or something like that and really gave it some more definition and dimension. These jute pumpkins are really quick to make. As soon as I saw this wired jute cord that Dollar Tree carries, I knew I was gonna create these pumpkins out of them. I knew it was gonna be the perfect material for this. I unwound the cord and then just wound it around, kind of making it into a bigger circle so I'd have a bigger pumpkin. I tied the top and bottom with some wire to keep it all in place and then just spread the wire out so that I had that round shape. And then I also squished it a little bit too to give it more of a pumpkin shape. For the stem, I just hot glued a little piece of a branch from outside onto the top and also wound that wire around the bottom. That really held it in place. I also felt like it needed a couple leaves at the top, so I'm using my wired burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree to cut a couple leaf shapes out and hot glue them to the stem. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for more fall DIYs that are soon to come. I'll have more DIYs popping up on your screen you can check out next. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.